Yo, what's up everybody? Make sure that if you like this video, you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Deuces. Hello. We got a new patch. So let's just hop into that real quick. Whatever, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Without further ado, let's hop into some patch notes. A eh? patch 5.40. It's actually a pretty cool patch. Well, kind of. So this is the new high stakes mode. I think this is the new high stakes mode, right? Or is this just saying the entire... I think this is the trailer for the new mode. We're gonna watch it real quick. I would have definitely blown myself up in that type of situation, dude. New LTM, new outfits. Well, it's one new outfit with three different masters. Pretty cool. Oh, and then there's a spray and a new pickaxe with that as well. You got the new grappler. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty though real quick. We're just gonna focus on like the important stuff. Just can be found in supply drop safes located along the edge of the first circle. The safes take a long time to open, so make sure the area is clear before attempting to claim a jewel. Four jewels will be in play on the map at all times. Player escapes with a jewel or one is lost in a storm, a new supply drop will be replaced. Wait, so... What happens? So did you, do you know where all the jewels are on the map then? Oh, when a jewel is picked up, it'll be visible on the map to everyone for 30 seconds. Jeez. Okay, so you have a general sense of where somebody's going with it. Carrying a jewel will give players health and shields over time, but also slow them down by 10%. Getaway vans. Four total getaway vans in the map. Three arrive early in the match and one more shows up near the end. Ooh, that's pretty sick. Good advance float in mid-air. Jewel carriers must build up and then interact with them in order to complete the, give the get getaway. The goal is to find or steal a jewel, take it to one of the vans in order to secure a victory rail. Once they arrive, safe drops. Getaway vans will be visible on the map at all times. 12 red pursuit supply drops at the very beginning of the match. This is for like loot, right? Yeah. Resource harvesting increased by 50%. Only rare weapons and higher can be found in this mode. Rifts to go, blah, 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 blah. Profile KD, blah, blah, blah. This is what we really care about, the grappler. Fire at a nearby object to pull yourself toward it. Can be found in vending machines. Ooh, it can be found in vending machines, that's cool. Floor loot, treasure chests, supply drops, and llamas. So this thing could be found almost anywhere, which is nice. I like that they didn't like make it exclusive to airdrops or whatnot. Has 15 charges discarded when charges are depleted. Vaulted revolvers, RIP. Get some F's in chat, please, for the revolver. <gasps> Rarity color adjustment, the original percentages for drops were incorrect. We have since updated the percentages to clarify the exact change to the weapons. Some items have been removed or modified to better reflect their effectiveness. This only affects their colors and other characteristics are unchanged. Hey, what? Removed common suppressed submachine gun. Removed rare rocket launcher. Oh, I gotta see. <coughs> <coughs> Availability of epic legendary rocket launchers decreased slightly to compensate. Remove legendary bolt action sniper rifle. Removed rare pistol. Remote explosive increased from rare to epic. Port of fort decreased from epic to rare good. Semi auto sniper rifle decreased from epic to legendary and to uncommon and rare. That's actually a good change. Increase the frequency that the semi auto rifle drops to align more with the rarity class. Increased uncommon. Sniper drop chance, blah, blah, blah. Dual pistols is decreased in rarity. Nah, that's well deserving as well. Suppressed pistol decreased in rarity from epic to legendary. Burst assault rifle accuracy just holding down the trigger. The first two bursts are more accurate. Huh. Would they mean first two bursts? Do they mean like, yeah, I think they, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like six shots, your first six shots, six shots are more accurate. When you're holding down the trigger though, I think that's very, it's a key point. Yo, Burst, a, Burst Assault Rifle actually got mad buffed, dude. It got so fucking buffed. Increased maximum, increased drop stack count for Boogie Bomb 1 to 2. Increased maximum stack size for Stick Bomb 5 to 6. Oh! I didn't see this coming. Increased maximum stack size for Shield Potions from 2 to 3. Mmm. And then the change we've all been waiting for. In the moving storm phases, when the storm reaches its destination, it will cause a surge of energy that destroys player built structures located on the storm wall. God bless, boys. God bless. That's pretty much it, to be honest. We got emote picker in the lobby pocket. And those are the patch notes. That's about it, dude. 